Hey guys, Kev here. And I have a quick, quick unboxing to do for you. And it's gonna be a little ironic, actually, because I'm gonna unbox it with the Urban EDC Barley. This is our design with Devo Knives. And Urban EDC is running this knife. And uh, I think it's gonna be available really soon on pre-order. Uh, it may already be, uh, if all goes well, this may have already dropped as a pre-order as you're watching this. In which case, link down below, go pick yourself up one. Um, if you have a little bit of slip joint fever and you couldn't get one this month with Jack Wolf, Barley Baby, there's your irony. I am going to unbox the newest Jack Wolf knife and it is not a slip joint. What? What? About the same, man. That's weird. Is the is the moon red? Is it hazy as shit here? Oh wait, that stuff actually happened. <laughs> I'm in Pennsylvania, and uh, we got a lot of smoke down here from Canada, and uh, turned the moon or the sun red. Uh, it was some crazy shit. For a day there, it's still a little bit like that. For a day there, it just smelled like a campfire everywhere. Um, so here's your usual Jack Wolf box. This is the uh, Purple Haze Fat Carbon version, which is very cool. Oh, here's your artwork. You got the Gunslinger Jack. Very, very cool. Got the POG, the huge, the usual. Oh yeah, there's no slip. I'm like, where's the slip? Uh, there's some stickers in there. You know, the usual stuff. Let's uh, stop with the uh, introductions here. Oh, something fell out. Okay, so just be weary that there is a little uh, insert. This is your filler tab if you don't want to have the clip on it. It has a clip. So just keep that in mind. It's going to be wrapped up in the towel with your knife. I almost, you know, if I wasn't paying attention, that could have just hit the floor and I wouldn't have noticed. So just keep your eye on that. I'm sure Ben has extras, but, you know, it's kind of nice to not have to uh, send out that kind of stuff that you already got just because you lost it real quick. Um, anyway. It was a purple filler tie. Let me just put all this back in here. This will go with all my other uh, cases, of course. And here we go. Here it is, guys. The Gunslinger Jack. I can't believe he made a fucking locking knife. Now, I've had time to process this, right? It's been a week since I found... Oh, dead down the center, baby. Ooh, well... That's good. That's good. I'm just kidding. Um, all right. So you got the purple haze fat carbon and they look, are they contoured? Maybe slightly contoured. Um, you have this really nice full length backspacer that matches everything. I really like that look. Um, it's a little more of a deeper purple than the uh, clip is. So the clip has a little bit more of a matte finish and this is more of a deeper polished finish, which is interesting, but uh, we have a bolster lock design, which is great as a lefty. Uh, ben is a lefty. Now, he didn't make it lefty friendly in the sense that it has a um, reversible clip. I do really wish that that filler tab was sitting right here right now. And um, I just think it would have been so easy to just put that filler tab right here. I don't think it would have really made it look bad. It's mounted internally, you know. Um and then you could have the clip and be able to reverse it. I just think that would have been a nice touch, um, especially since he's left-handed. I got to give him a little shit, you know? Um, but it is what it is. And honestly, personally, I don't care. Um, I'm left-handed. I know I'm supposed to be some advocate or whatever. And I try to make all my knives left-handed, but that's you know, designer choice. And sometimes the designer, um, and Ben is a very detailed, uh, he's got an artistic eye. And I think to him, that filler tab just kind of threw things off. 
Um, and so that's fair, you know? And I'm just gonna carry it like a right hand knife and not give a shit. Can I flick it lefty? That's the question, right? Um, so you have that bolster lock right there, um, inlays, really nice clip. Um, you do have a lot of color going on here. So those of you that uh, want nice color, vibrant stuff, you got a lot of choices this month. There's like a green, a gold, a pink, a purple, a blue. Um, there is no subtle color. I was a little surprised there wasn't just like a black camo with black or, you know, just raw tie look. Um, but it doesn't bother me at all. I'm going to feel this detent before I keep talking. And okay, let's give her a rip. Oh, didn't lock it up. I think that was me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Did you hear that? Um, so you do have this little bit of a gap right here. You guys see that? Um, he did that on purpose so that when you disengage it, you don't pinch yourself. Um, there's actually a little bit of space in there. So when you push this lock bar over, you can't pinch yourself. Um, even though I just pinched myself up here. But that's because I was trying to show you. And that's mostly for lefties. So you don't get pinched in there because that's what was probably happening to him on a prototype. Um, so right-handed, see if I can uh, get it to disengage. So it's not going to drop shut at all, really. Um, it's got a little ting to it on the clothes. Hear that? Yeah, interesting. So let's try a flick left-handed. Okay. Feels a little tight. Oh man, that front flip though is very good. The front flip is very good. So I think I just need to get some KPL. You can hear it. I just need to get some KPL on that detent ball. I think that's going to wear into the uh, detent path. And you won't hear that sound much anymore. And it should smooth it out, uh, which will help us all around. Ooh, that reverse flick was nice right-handed right there. So I think I just got to get used to it. Not having the clip does make it a little harder um, left-handed. I keep just flicking it before I even mean to. Trying to gear up for it. There it is. There it is. Uh, ergonomics. So it's basically a scaled up um, sharpshooter jack. And um, that's exactly what it is. Just a bigger sharpshooter jack. And it has that ergonomic feel where your two fingers, front fingers are up here, two back fingers back here. And it just gives you a good, comfortable grip. Let um, me feel it right handed. Yeah, the clip is nice and flat. Doesn't get in your way at all. There's no pokiness anywhere. Um, I love the aesthetic of it. That sound on clothes is really cool. No blade plate, which is honestly pretty amazing considering um, the bearings in here are a 1 8 pivot. That's like minuscule, guys. That's like the smallest pivot I've seen. I've ever seen in a knife. That's like what you see in a baby Barlow. You know what I mean? That's really small, that pivot barrel. Um, I'm surprised they're not, you know, larger. Um, but you don't have side to side, so it's good. He's got a he's got a good amount of a tang inside the uh, handle here that's being locked down by the pivot, and that gives you that good side to side stability. Um, personally, I would love to see it be a little more drop shut, but. It's kind of going to be his trade-off with a uh, blade like this because you have this full hollow grind uh, belt satin. But look at the stock. Like, it's relatively thin stock, and then it's a full hollow. comes down to absolutely nothing. I mean, this is 10 thousandths behind the edge, something like that. Um, so it's just not going to have weight to it. It's not going to be able to swing down the way... Um, you traditionally see a lot of knives do, right? That right hand reverse flick is just so good. Um, I just gotta practice it lefty, I think. There it is. There it is. I don't know what I was doing. I was kind of like flicking it before I ever even like set up. 
Um, but yeah, that, oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. All right. Um, I'm also in my truck, so it's a little hard to kind of maneuver the way I normally would. So I get a better idea when I'm walking around. <laughs> Um, the lockup, so there's no lock stick, nothing like that. Lockup set about 30%, literally exactly where I'd want it to be. Um, you know, I do wish there was some more lock bar access. I talked to Ben about this. Um, that was a decision he made to keep that traditional look, that line right here. Um, keep that clean. There's no, uh, cutback for the lock bar access. So he just added these chamfers on both sides. Um, and it works, you know, um, it works pretty well, honestly. I just always prefer to have a little bit of room here to slide my finger in. Um, but it's not really a guillotine style knife anyway that you're gonna, you know, shake down under your nail. So, um, I may try to put the skiffs in. He was selling them at Blade Show. I don't know if he'll have them available on his website. If you're interested, they're 1 8th pivot, 3 64th ball bearings. Um, same ones that fit in some of the Shamwaris. Uh, so, um, you can always check that out if you're interested. I might try that, but honestly, I kind of want to just see how it breaks in before I do anything like that. I don't think you're going to get this knife to drop shut. And that's not to me what skiffs are about. Skiffs are about lateral, um, you know, lateral strength and then giving a little bit more smoothness, which... I'm not really feeling any issues here with that. Um, all of this, to me, is the detent ball just needs to wear a path. And if I put a little oil on there, it'll help it along. Um, so, yeah, I really like it. I really like it. I will say, um, since, you know, uh, my goal on this channel is to always be honest with you guys. Um I was a little disappointed when I heard there was a uh, locking knife coming out with Jack Wolf. Uh, not because I didn't think Ben could crush it, which he crushed it. Um, but because I am so in love with slip joints right now. Like, this, this mother got me hooked on slip joints, feeds my addiction for a year... And then, boom, just drops a locking knife on me. And I was like in shock for like three days. I'm like, I don't know, man. Like, I wish it was a slip joint. <laughs> but you know what? Variety is good. And, you know, he can't, I mean, you just, you can't just keep making, it, you're going to run out of designs and whatnot. And this is a great way to bring the sharpshooter back come full circle and uh make it a little bigger and you know expand his customer base because he's a business right he needs to bring in new customers how do you do that well you expand your product line and if you do it well this is unique and done well in my opinion it is unique because i've never seen a modern traditional front flipper like this yeah Pena has plenty of front flippers a lot of people are going to compare these to Pena's this is not a Pena this is something completely different and you want to know what it is it's a jack wolf with a bolster lock and a front flipper it still has all the DNA of a jack wolf in my opinion and um that's so hard to accomplish and to do that every month is just, it's incredible to me. Um, so, yeah, I really like it. Uh, it you know, my initial nitpicks are um, the uh, area, the, the front flipper can be a little uncomfortable sometimes if you miss it. Like I was trying to do the rollback move and I missed it, kind of went over the top of it and it's pretty sharp up there. Um, I wish the jimping came up and around. So it comes up to here. You have your last jimp like right here um but what you'd want to do is jump it up and around uh so that you have no matter what you're going to catch that front flipper right um it, it could be maybe slightly taller too um just to get a little bit and then you could go a little stronger on the detent too but um this one's dialed in very well 
Um, yeah, I don't really have many uh, nitpicks or anything. I think it is slightly off center, to be honest. Um, I was kind of trying to kid about it, and then I'm like, I don't know. And then now I'm like, yeah, it's off center. It's over to this side just a little bit. You can see it there. It's over to this side. So um, maybe I will put the skips in. That might take care of that. Um, I also haven't taken it apart or anything, so it could just be simple situation there. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's very well done once again. So these are coming on, I believe, June 16th. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's June 16th um, at 2 p.m. Eastern time as usual is the drop, and these are gonna be 350 bucks, 350 bucks. I will link all the dealers down below that I have affiliate links and discounts with that carry Jack Wolf knives. I will also link his dealer list if you wanna just look at all of them. But uh, I did just sign up with House of Blades as an affiliate, so I'll put their link down there. Um, they do carry Jack Wolf knives. They have a good selection uh, of other knives as well, so check out House of Blades. Uh, TraditionalPocketKnives.com will be down there. Um, Urban EDC will be down there and um white mountain knives will be down there and then i'll put the list to all of the other dealers um, oh, i'll also put blade hq down there but um anyway check it out the gunslinger jack i think for his first locking knife he went above and beyond when it comes to detail as usual and um it's impressive so it also has the triple flute design which is very cool it's becoming a signature and i like it so yeah, more to come. I'll do a full review on this because uh, um, I'm actually going to carry it for a little while, uh, get to know it a little better, and then I can do a better review. This is kind of a very, very early first impression. I wonder if I can do a reach around. Woo -hoo -hoo! Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. All right. Love you guys. Thank you, Ben. Always appreciate you, brother, for uh, sending these my way to check out and um give my honest feedback on i think you really really crushed it on this one um the details of that backspacer the triple flute keeping that full hollow grind i've never seen a I personally i've never seen a locking knife like this a bolster lock like this with a full hollow grind i mean it's going to be a worker for a lot of people um and very comfortable in the hand good size knife too guys it is larger than the um, the original sharpshooter. Like here, the barley is, uh, I believe, 2.9 inches. So you can see the difference there. I think it's going to be around three and a quarter on this guy. 3.3, something like that. A little bit bigger. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Love you guys. Hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.